Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Man, it's been a couple days, man. Where you been, bro? Where you been? Yo, salute to everybody who hit me up on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't blogged since like last week. Uh, I was in Florida. You know what I'm saying? I had some time out there. I had a class for my job. I was in Florida. I was running around. Uh, and when I be like on different places like vacationing or in Miami, I don't be wanting to blog and a lot of the stories be redundant, same old washed up stories over and over and over. So I, I, I definitely took some time to enjoy uh, Florida, you know what I'm saying? Salute to all my peoples down there, you know what I'm saying? I had uh, chill for a little bit, went out, ate some of the local cuisine, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to take some time out to enjoy. Um, and then especially if you job, my job paying for it, oh, I'm on the way. So, uh, had some fun in Miami, salute to my brother Maserati Man, he came out there, you know, walked around, uh, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, it's a lot been going on in the battle rap world, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of different things. The Queen of the Ring, had, I mean, Queen of the Ring got an event coming up called Prom Night, uh, Chrome 23, you know what I'm saying, they got a tournament, an all-female tournament coming out, and, uh, most recently, I read last night that Murder Mook versus Geechee Gotti is gonna actually be in Irving Plaza. Wow, in New York. You all hasn't had a big event in New York in quite some time. And I, and I know all, you know what I'm saying, all the preponderance of reasons why, because the pandemic happened, New York venues cost a lot, because I know like I'm, and, and just stick with me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, I'm gonna just throw a lot of stuff in here, you know what I'm saying, but you'll catch it, you know what I'm saying? You'll catch it. Even if you don't have no receivers like the Giants do, but we, 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 we'll get to that in a second. But, um, so, Urban Plaza is a historic venue. A lot of dope battles have went down there. Uh, you had Tay Rock versus Hollow to Don, another cut and another cut. Seat belt won't buckle up, went down there. K Shine versus uh, Hitman Holler. Briz Rothstein versus Calico, uh, Av versus Shotgun Shug. I do a construction work with Jack Hammer. That was there. Uh, what else? It was a lot of joints there. They had a two-on-two -two joint there where they had a uh, Briz and Briz and T-Top versus Averb and Hitman Holla. Uh, some gun titles joint. It was a lot of battles that went down there. Briz, uh, the Mac round. The body hanging halfway at the body like the hash brown went down there, bro. I was I haven't been to a lot of Irving Plaza events, as you can see. Um, they had uh what else? Uh Chess versus Tay Rock. Uh you knew what you know about bottle to make a knife out it. I doubt you're like, bro, the Urban Plaza is a crazy ass venue. I'm not gonna hold you, because they got the upstairs shit and they got the downstairs. And it, it it could get really crazy in there. Uh what does that do? in correspondence to Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. And I know, you know, uh, Geechee Gotti is talking about, he's in the talks, he's thinking about potentially retiring. And I know about rap niggas really don't really retire. Like, niggas will be like they retire until another bag comes in. And I know Geechee Gotti gets paid well, he has the riot. So I would never suspect that. But um, what's the, what, what it means for him battling Murder Mook in New York, and I'll get back to, um, some of the other topics about this venue and about venues in New York. From what I just heard by speaking to different people, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that first. The venues in New York, they cost more. You know what I'm saying? They cost more and then they had all of these rules and everything that was going on. You remember when the whole pandemic thing was going on, you had uh, Kyrie Irving couldn't play because he wasn't vaccinated. New York had the vaccine mandate, it was crazy. You had to have the joint on your phone. Like when I would visit New York, like in order to go in a restaurant, you had to have your vaccine card and a vaccine mandate. It was just crazy. When I went to uh, the Versus joint, uh, Jada Kiss and them versus uh, Dipset, that vaccine card, you can't get it. Nobody wanted to deal with that, so they just took the show on the road, which was smart for URL because uh, they built a fan base all around. So now when they go to these different states, 
it's just coming back. Like you can go back to Houston, you can go back to Atlanta. Some of these crowds, y'all might want to skip, but they can go back to some of the cities that they've been to and had events at because you're now starting to build a global entity, even though, you know, Battle Rap is huge, it's getting bigger. Um, so what does that mean? You got Murder Moo, who, regardless of how any of y'all may feel, you know what I'm saying, I know a lot of y'all is like, oh, Murder Moo guy, I get it. Trust me, I do. I, I, I'm the one that bears the brunt, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I talk about the battles, and mind you, I've never had any issue with any of these guys Mook, Rex, any of them, unless it was battles. Like if I'm talking about the battles, I'm talking about how you're translating, how you're not winning, how, you know what I'm saying, even though the battle happens, like some of the material just be dated. I've said that, so when they get mad, they'll, you know, Vada, fuck Vada, blah, blah, blah. As a matter of fact, Henny Man had an interview the other day where he's talking to Rex, and he brings my name up. I don't know why he brought my name up, you know, I mean, I'm sure, views, so he brings it up. And Rex is like, oh, fuck Vada. And a lot of people was hitting me with this clip. Yo, 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 what you think, what you think? I don't think anything. Because hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? Because they're supposed to say that. You're, you, of course you're going to be like, fuck Skip, fuck Shannon, fuck the media. Of course they, they're supposed to say that. I felt no way about it. But uh, salute to him and everything he's got going on. But I felt no way about it because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> look what I'm doing. It was saying like, L look at this. Look at me. I'm doing great. So um, and hopefully, hopefully Rex sees chess on that card too. I don't mind seeing these guys if they, cause in New York, you know what I'm saying. In New York, they got a certain nostalgia. They got a lot of love. People fuck with them. Uh, Chet, uh I seen Rex his battle with uh Verb. You know them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed. It's like a Gucci crime scene. No, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. So when I squeeze, I'm Gucci before the crime scene. Like, big ass moments. Uh, what he said? Mook, Lux, Rex, Sirius Jones. Oh my God. Besides them, I'm the illest nigga on this car. That was the time when Rex was really dominating and running shit. I'm not going to hold you. It was, that was a, a, a certain era. Um, but I say that from historical perspective. New York has always been one of the epicenters of battle rap. So respectfully, you could see a murder mook translate into a New York crowd probably better than he would do some of these other crowds like in Houston or maybe in the Carolinas or some shit like that. Like they might, they, they, all of the bars, like the bars be the same, the raps be the same, but certain, there's just certain shit certain people subscribe to and it's just, you know what I'm saying, based off of where you're at, the locality type thing. So. What does it mean about uh, Murder Mook and Geechee Gotti? Uh, I will do this. Geechee Gotti's best performances have not come in New York. You know what I'm saying? Him versus T-Top was in New York. That was just an okay battle. And he's had some other ones in New York. But his greatest, his biggest performances have not been in New York. The reason why is because in a lot of this run, well, not run, I mean, like a lot of this last two years, they haven't battled in New York. So he hasn't really... You know, had the chance to battle in New York frequently to really win that crowd. And then you could have some East Coast bias. I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? But it be like that. Even when niggas is on the way on the West. You know what I'm saying? Like, West be getting love on the West. South be getting love in the South. You know what I'm saying? East, New York is going to show love in New York. Uh, a lot of people originally thought that the battle was in Atlanta. I seen Jazz say she booked a ticket to go to Atlanta. It's a lot of other people that was like, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, that's what they thought it was going to be. I don't know how Atlanta be, Atlanta be, uh, sometimes Atlanta be so-so. So I'm not tripping off the band in New York, but it's a bigger look. And, you know, it's going to bring out the Remy's. It'll bring out the bigger names. It'll bring out everybody because they ain't got to do nothing but jump in their car, drive 20 minutes. Well, in New York, like an hour. In New York, five miles be like 40 minutes in New York. That's the reason why I don't live there. Like, New York is crazy. Traffic. 10 miles be two hours, two and a half. In any other state, 10 miles is 10 minutes. Well, not any other state. You know, LA be crazy too, you know, and shit. But um, I think this does serve better for Murder Moot. Uh, I, I still am going with Geechee Gotti in the battle. 
And it's not because like niggas will be like, oh, you. Ha I don't hate Murder Mook. I don't know Murder Mook. You know what I'm saying? I only talk about the battles. You're not gonna catch me talking about nobody kid, nobody girl, nobody neighbor, nobody uh, softball coach. None of that. I only talk about the battles. That's why I really don't give a fuck when somebody gets mad because I know that it's coming from a place of literally just battles. So, uh, what Murder Mook can do, do rag. You know what I'm saying? Like a uh, do rag, obviously. Uh, and just get back to what we what niggas know. Like you got to get back in that bag. Your shit got to be relevant. It can't be like no gas. It can't be like you these long, long drawn out setups like that. It's gonna be very hard to be Gucci Gotti with that. And this is not hate. The hate sounds like truth to niggas who hate the truth. The truth is like you're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to get to it. And Geechee loves battling legends. He loves it. He battled the Hollow. He battled Diz. He battled Lux. Lux was saying that he shouldn't battle him in, in New York. You just got 3 0 by it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By, by Geechee. That shit happened. That's relevant. I know he was tired. I know he was in LA. I know the flight. I know they probably didn't have the Biscoff cookies on the plane. He probably had to have pretzels and shit. But it don't matter. You still lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, you lost. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But I rock with Lux and I love what Lux is able to do. Shoot, maybe he could be on that car. You battle in New York. You have an event in New York. You got to bring New York out. Like, gotta see a lot of the artists from New York. You would hope so. You would love to see K-Shine. Uh, you would love, I would love to see Jerry West. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of MCs that I would love to see on a New York-based card. Um, in other news, Remy Ma has a tournament. Uh, salute to what she's doing with Chrome 23, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they've been giving people the opportunity. A lot of MCs have been getting looks. Uh, they putting shit together for the culture, and that's a big thing. Uh, it's a lot of different. I don't know every single female that's involved in the tournament. I thought I was in Miami all week. You think I'm gonna remember? I'm not gonna remember. But I, 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 I me and SP will go through it all. I know 40 bars is in it. Uh, I know QB is in it. I know E Heart, BX, BX. We next. I know uh, Chain of Ashley and a lot of other dope. Feet. I think Yoshi, yeah, Yoshi's in it too, and a lot of other MCs. They're all in the tournament, and it's a 25 grand. Anytime an opportunity comes up where people could win. Money, 15, 20, 100 racks, go for it. Only suggestion in Chrome 23 is audio. Audio is everything. Audio and visual is everything. Y'all could throw these big posh events. You don't need Amazura to throw an event. You don't. You don't need an event, a venue that holds 3,000 people. Not in New York. You don't need it. You know what I'm saying? You can minimize it and dumb it down to a venue that holds 500 people and just hope to shoot for that. But you get these big ass venues. Battle rap is not there right now, you know what I'm saying? It's big, but it's not 3,000, 5,000 people in the venue. It's not there. It's just not. It can get there, but it ain't. Um, but I think it's a really, really, really dope. But uh, we'll see what goes on with that. But overall, uh, Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook is now going down in New York. That makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, more to come. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. He'll be back in here real soon. You already know what we do. Uh, and salute to all of the supporters, the subscribers, everybody who watches this stuff. Um, you know, I really, really, really want to take time out to thank you and everybody. You, know, you don't see me on here for like three, four, five days. I, hit me on Twitter. Hit me on Instagram. Vod underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. What's up? I know people that actually, they like wait. They're like, yo, I watch you. Like, I don't watch nobody. I watch this shit. Where's the new content? So I definitely appreciate it. And putting that battery on my back make me work. You know what I'm saying? Because if I get comfortable and I'm bored and ain't really nothing going on, I ain't really got nothing to talk about. But, uh, you know, I'm glad y'all y'all watching. And it is what it is. Gang, gang, I got one more coming. So I'm going to do another one. One second.